Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to install one of our 165 minus 6 inch bumper kits. We've already cut this tunnel down 6 inches. Um, you guys can watch our last YouTube video on this tunnel chop that we did and uh, see how that's all done. So when you're ordering our bumper kits for a 6 inch tunnel cut, if it says 165, that means it's going to be six inches short already. So order it for whatever model you have. If you got a 155, order the 155. If you got a 165, order the 165 bumper kit. So with these bumper kits, we've made these little provisions on the inside here to clear all the factory rivets that are on here. And these self-piercing rivets, sometimes they're not in the same spots from machine to machine. So that's why we oblong these a little bit. So. What we might have to do, if this bracket does not still fit flat against the tunnel, is we just might have to grind the head of one or two of these rivets, possibly, sometimes not. Um, and it's not a big deal because we're adding way more rivets in afterwards that are going to help strengthen it up as well. Uh, we're going to get started with this right now. We're going to start by heat uh, gunning off the decals and stuff. Uh, it's kind of the first step and then we're going to drill this rivet out from underneath here before we can actually see if this fits in proper. Okay, this is everything that comes with our bumper kits. Right here, um, you get a hardware kit with it, two tunnel stiffeners, a bumper, and these are extra braces that you'll see they go in the back right here and act as a doubler to strengthen it. Um, I'm gonna drill a couple locating holes and we use Clecos. You can just put screws in it if you don't have these or you can use a uh, C-clamp vice grip. Um, we use an air blower just to blow the shavings off after. We use this marker just to mark wherever rivet head we gotta possibly grind off. We got a 3 16 and a quarter inch drill bit. Uh, you need a 3 mil and a 4 mil Allen head, 3 8 wrench, 7 16 socket. Um, we're gonna use an impact gun just to speed things up a bit. A uh, little silicone and wax remover, or you can use, uh, you know, lacquer thinner, whatever, just to kind of get the glue off after you take your decals off. And uh, a heat gun that helps get the decals off as well. So, um, let's get started here. See how this nut is going to be kind of half on the aluminum here a bit. So I'm just going to like take my die grinder in there and make a little provision for the nut. So we have two different lengths of rivets here. There's a long and a short that come with the kit. And you could just see along the top here, we got two layers to go through up here. So those would get all the long rivets, obviously. And then these ones here that just go through the thinner material are going to get the short ones. All right, now we're going to attach our grab handle. Start with these side plates here. I'll start with this side. Okay guys, so I like to put a little bit of blue Loctite, just a little bit, on all these, especially the 1032s, because they're stainless on stainless, and uh, sometimes stainless on stainless will gall on you. 
And so this acts as a bit of a lubricant as well. So this very front hole here, we're gonna put the 5 8 long screw in it that comes with the kit. And these other two get the three quarter because they're going through thicker material. And then you'll see on the, looking from this angle, the bumper has more of a kick to it, how this plate is welded on here. It's clocked, so you want your bumper to be on the high part. So when I'm tightening these little guys here, I like to tighten with the nut, not the Allen head, so you don't strip the Allen head. It just has to be just snug. Okay, so now we're going to drill the factory snow flap brace. Now, the reason why we don't really put a hole in here is some people like to take the bend out of these a little bit change the angle of their snow flap one way or the other. So we kind of leave it up to you and your own discretion on where you want to locate that hole. But this one here, we're just gonna put it in its relaxed factory position. And then if you don't have one of these deburring tools, you could always use a bigger drill bit and just touch it up a little bit. Okay, um, you don't have to, but we're going to pop a couple rivets back in these guys again. And we're going through three layers of material, so we're going to use the long rivets for those. So you guys might find that there's a few extra rivets in these kits and that. We usually tend to throw in a few extras for you, so don't worry too much. Anyways, um, we're just going to rivet on the snow flap back on this thing and uh, this thing is done. You ready? Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, it helped you to install your own minus six inch bumper kit. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to call the shop, talk to me or Shane anytime, 250-491-1836. Have a great day.